Growing up, theater students at Boston College turning their own homes into a stage and inspiring elementary school children in the process. Usually this time of year, the students perform fairy tales for schools in the area. Of course, the coronavirus canceled those plans, but the show must go on. WBZ's Louise Muller shows us how. Once upon a time. 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 All great stories I know start with once upon a time. Those words helped these Boston College theater students suspend reality because reality is a little different this year. My students were disappointed, and I know the elementary school students were disappointed. Professor Luke Jorgensen says his class was ready to perform Alice in Wonderland for nine Boston elementary schools when the state was shut down. Instead, the curtain opened on some solo performances. It was, in fact, half man, half bull. Each student recorded a fairy tale, transforming stuffed animals. There was Papa Dog, Mama Dog, and Baby Dog. Even family dogs. And then suddenly, a big wolf appeared. It's a big bad wolf. I mean, the fact that they can use their imaginations to be creative, you know, in a time when they're at home and, and they're not connecting with people as often as they should. Shannon DeBerry, who teaches at Brighton's Winship School, says the videos ignited her students' imaginations. Once upon a time, there was a bunny named Marshmallow. So she asked them to act out their own stories, like this one by first grader Emil. Sorry, Marshmallow. I ran out of marshmallows. And once upon a time, actors of all ages shared an activity. There is someone in my bed. Given the time that we're in, one of the most important things that people can do is like find a way to smile and laugh and just forget. Timeless fairy tales, an escape from reality. Cinderella and the prince were married in the palace, and they lived happily ever after. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.